You know, sometimes things don't come out the way you think they're going to, especially when you pray. You believe you're praying according to the word, and yet things don't turn out exactly like you think they're going to because you prayed, especially when it comes to uh, the, the end times and nations and the world and the globe and nuclear activity and politics and Washington all the way to Syria, Israel, Iran, Iraq, all of those places. Oh my, my, my. So what is our position on this? Well, we have prayed and we believe that we prayed in faith. But let me tell you something right now that we have to understand as prayers none of us, no one of us knows everything about everything. There's only one that knows everything about everything, and that's the Lord. He knows everything about everything and in how all of those things interact and impact one another. But I can tell you this, that things are going to turn out in Iran, in Iraq, Afghanistan, Turkey, Syria, Lebanon, Israel, and America and all the places in between, it's going to turn out exactly like this says. Now, I didn't say it was going to turn out like you or I necessarily think that it says, but it, when it all pans out, we'll be able to look at the scripture and say, oh, now I get it. But here are some things that we do know that we can pray in line with the word of God and have expectation of his perfect will being prayed and the results of it. Number one, we're praying for the awakening. Where? Everywhere. The Bible says it's God's will that all men be saved. So we know that. And come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ and understand that He is the mediator between God and man. And only God knows how to do that. You, you can't make people in Iran or Iraq or anywhere in the Middle East think like Americans and you definitely can't make Americans think like Middle Easterners. Only God knows how to reach people. He knows how to deal with nations as a whole, and He knows how to deal with individuals. So that's His business. Remember that He's dealing with the church, the nations, and the Jews. And His relationship to each one of those groups is different. So don't try to place America in place of the church, and don't try to make the church the same as the Jews, or the Jews the same as the other nations. It's, it just doesn't work that way. But God knows how to deal with them all. And in all of His dealings, it's with this one intent and purpose, that all men come into the knowledge of Jesus Christ as Savior and the mediator between God and man. And only He knows how to do that. Now, in the meantime, our prayers are not only for that great awakening, but because the Scripture does tell us that there is destruction and there is judgment, that is upon us, and it, it goes back even for thousands of years. So <clears throat> those things are coming, but our prayers make a difference in those individual lives. Our prayers make a difference in the severity of judgment. We know from Scripture, too, that many times judgments are affected by the prayers of people, individual judgment as well as judgments that come on nations. So even in God's judgments, He's looking for that those judgments to help bring people to a place where they understand and know that He's God. And he's a covenant-making and a covenant-keeping God and a God of love. All that being said, now, don't be disheartened because we have prayed some things and you wonder about this most recent deal with Iran. I'm telling you, God knows what's going on. He's not surprised, and He didn't try to stop something that didn't get stopped. He knows what He's doing. So with everything that doesn't seem to be the answer the way we want it to be, we aren't moved by that. We have confidence in this. God has a covenant with Israel and really he has a covenant with America. This nation was established based on covenant and God is faithful and it will come out right. So our prayers now are so that uh, the, the hastening of the awakening would come and the hastening of people coming to Jesus would come and the lessening of the results of our rebellion to God. So let's pray together right now and we'll continue to pray over this whole situation that affects the entire planet. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray over all of the whole earth. Lord, you said that we were to make intercession for kings and priests on behalf of all men. And so, Lord, we lift up the case of all men, north to south, east to west, all points in between. And then because 
Lord, it is your desire that all men would come to know you and to know your love and to know Jesus as the mediator between God and man. We pray for the kings and all those that are in authority. We know, Lord, that there are some who absolutely have hardened their heart against you. And ha, you know exactly how to use those to bring to pass whatever needs to happen so that eyes will be opened, ears will be opened, and hearts can be flooded with light. We thank you for that. We pray, Lord, for the Muslim world. We pray for all those that have been deceived and denied opportunity to know about Jesus. We're asking, Father, for a huge intervention into their lives. We know this is the day and the hour. The time is now for their eyes to be opened with direct intervention, Father, that whatever is necessary to reveal Jesus as that mediator, Lord, there will be laborers sent across their path, that they would speak one to another. There will be dreams and visions that, Lord, there, that you would invade their space, <laughs> invade it, Lord, with the, the light of the gospel, with the light of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for America, and we pray that this nation would quickly come to her awakening, quickly, Lord, awaken to her Savior, to her God, to her Keeper. We pray for the church and that the church would be unified, spirit, soul, and body, and that our eyes would be focused on Jesus with a heartfelt, passioned return to the Word of God, to the holiness that God has called us to do and to live and to be, so that the power of God would be evident to all the world. We thank you for it, Father. We give place to the Holy Spirit in our lives. We pray, Lord, that we, we have ears that will hear and that we will quickly yield and obey his, the most slight, slightest of His instruction and, and His leadership. How we praise you for it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And so we thank you and give you praise, Lord, for the, and even in, in this time, in this hour, in this day, that yes, our God is in control of the final outcome. But we pray, Father, over the lives of men and that, Father, Lord, not by tens, not by hundreds, thousands, millions, or even, uh, Lord, but by billions of people to come to know you, that your house would be full. We thank you for it in the name of Jesus. And most of all, Lord, we say this, we trust you. We trust your word. We lean on the leadership of the Holy Spirit. And with boldness and confidence and faith, we declare from the top of the world to the bottom and all the way around that, say it with me, Jesus is Lord.